Tonight, we're going to focus on cabinet making if you decide to do it on your CNC. I have a lot of people that are interested in this and want to know um, how difficult it is to get there, if it's worth the investment, and you know what's the return on investment, for example, and uh, is it something that I can do? So we're going to go ahead and take a look as we go through this and uh, see if it fits you, whether it does or not. Now, there's two different situations that we'll discuss. One is, um, well, actually three situations. One is that you're an existing cabinet shop. And you're using traditional tools and machinery, table saws, etc., and you're considering going to CNC. The other one is you want to start a CNC, uh, cabinet shop and you want to start off with CNC, so you're starting from ground zero. And then the third one is if you are a hobbyist or possibly someone who does um, occasional work and sells the work, but really this is for personal use and you really want to build cabinets for yourself. You want to do your kitchen cabinets or so on. So we'll kind of address those three scenarios and see if any of those fit you or this may not be for you at all. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is the benefits. And they're pretty obvious, but we'll go through with them real quickly. The first benefit is automation, um, which simply means that um, you put the, the sheet goods on the, on the table, load your program and your router bits and press go. And it automatically cuts everything until it's ready for you to assemble. Okay? So that's one thing. Next thing the automation does for you is accuracy. It repeats accuracy extremely well. And that can be very, very powerful. I have one customer that uh, had, had done cabinetry for some time, but preferred to do the face frame cabinetry instead of the frameless with the Euro style because um, it's hard to hold the accuracy to get it to work with the frameless and the Euro style. So the face frame, it allows you to kind of cover up a lot of mistakes or a lot of um, inaccuracies. So the automation unlocks that potential for you so that you can take on virtually any kind. <coughs> Excuse me. And you'll find if you haven't done this in the past, a lot of people that have done face frame cabinetry that the Euro style frameless is actually quite simple. It's faster and easier to do. The third thing with automation is it's repeatable and you just every part that's going to come off is going to come off exactly the way you want it and you can turn around and run that same part again and it's going to come off exactly the same uh, not so with traditional tools yeah. not necessarily anyway okay and the last thing you can do with automation is you can just sit up and walk away okay so you turn the machine on and especially if you have auto tool change, if you don't have auto tool change, you're going to have to babysit it. But if it's got auto tool change, you basically walk away and do other processes and do other things until it's ready to take those parts off the machine. Second thing, the benefit that you're going to get from CNC is the efficiency. And so we've got worked with a lot of customers that are stepping into cabinetry on this on the CNC. And what they're finding is, is they can actually increase their, their efficiency, cut parts up to three times faster. Okay, so three times faster means that you could do up to three times as much work in the same given amount of time. Or it gives you time that you can actually embellish and make your cabinets a very high end custom piece, which um, demands a higher value, a higher price on those. Okay. The other way that efficiency will affect you is in material usage. In fact, I want to share one thing with you real quickly here. This is from our website. If we go into applications, let's go into cabinetry right here and just scroll down. I want to show you an example. There's a lot of examples in here that uh, you can go through and see how it does all of these different things and how it affects your business. But let's look at this one, save 20% on material cost. Okay. Okay, so one of our customers is saving on average about 20% of material because he's more efficient by nesting than he is cutting it on the saw. Okay, so a recent job took 24 sheets of the CNC when it had required 
and would have required 30 sheets without the CNC. That's the 20% of material usage. So without CNC, 30 sheets. With CNC, 24 sheets. Okay, if you spend 4,500 a month on sheet goods, you save 20%. You're saving $900 per month on these jobs. And the monthly payment on a financed system, four by eight, is about $900. So that's a pretty good trade. You trade the material cost for the CNC. Pretty powerful. Now let's talk about the other thing that's um, not thought of often is basically safety. Okay, so especially if you have employees, or even if you don't, if you're a single man shop, you've got insurance. And a shop with insurance on Traditional tools is more expensive than CNC because of the fact that it's very safe. You're not exposed to the cutter and everything's a very controlled environment. Um, so you've got workman's comp, uh, you've got insurance. And in addition to that, you've got the fact that uh, handling the sheets uh, by hand going from station to station is very, very, uh, it can be a safety um, concern. I want to show you one other thing here in our website that talks about preventing injuries by eliminating a thousand lifts per average kitchen. So how can this CNC help get the elephant off your back? Uh, rip parts to size. These are some of the processes. Cut, um, cut toe kick, cut tenons, pocket slotted mortises, drilling shelves. These are the processes you're going to do manually from going from system to system, machine to machine. Okay, so the CNC eliminates at least nine of the nine lifts per channel of these processes or, or per panel, not per channel, I'm sorry, for these processes. Okay, so the average cabinet box has five panels, about 45 lifts per box. Average kitchen has 24 boxes, that's uppers and lowers. On average, it's 1,080 lifts per cabinet job. Just do the math here. And the average panel weighs about 10 pounds. That's about 10,800 pounds that you're lifting over that job, or about the same weight as a African elephant, okay? When you think of it in those terms, it's, uh, it, can be, it can make your more enjoyable to do the work. It can also make it so that you can do the, the work longer, okay, without injury. Then you've got versatility. So normally, when you think of CNC, you're thinking about boxes. And it'll cut boxes really fast and very efficiently. But you can go way beyond uh, the boxes, especially with a CNC that has a turning center and a vertical vise and uh, you know, the vacuums and the auto tool change and everything else. So you can work on doors. And those can have inlays or carvings. They can be uh, MDF doors that are machined like uh, five panel uh, five part drawers or doors you can do drawers with various uh, joinery you can do pilasters or columns you can do corbels etc and even custom moldings uh, and if we go back again and look at on our website at this illustration here here are several processes that are done on a CNC, so cabinet uppers and lowers, cabinet doors, drawer boxes, molding, corbels, spindles, 3D embellishments like the carving up here on the corners. So you can take your cabinetry to the next to the next level, and that'll do a couple of things for you. Okay, and number one is it can increase your profits. So your profits will increase in a couple of ways. Uh, first of all. Whether we like it or not, competition is going to CNC because of its efficiency, its versatility, its safety, its automation, and so on. So if we don't go CNC, we've just kind of cut our own throat because our competition is going to be able to offer parts for less than we can. Okay. And the only thing you can do is get into a bidding war, what you'll do for less. And even if you go CNC, and you stay in that mentality where you'll produce it for less than the other guy, you, again, you're cutting your throat. All you're doing is cutting profit margins for both of you. 
Okay, but if you can stand yourself apart by taking a CNC that'll that'll add all of the embellishments besides just cutting the boxes, then you're not competing on price. You're competing on what the customer wants on his design, right? And the other way it'll bring in profits is, is that it's a lot cheaper than even hiring just a single employee, because obviously you got wages, even if it's minimum wage, you still have workman's comp and taxes and everything else that goes along with that. If you've ever hired someone before, you know the nightmare that uh, that entails. But you can eliminate that if you're a single man shop and just doing your own, which one of our customers used to be a very large shop with a lot of employees, is now doing it single handedly by himself, no employees. Okay. The other thing that it can do for you as far as profits is it can essentially pay for itself. We at Legacy here years ago, we decided to buy a, a laser, a CNC laser. And that laser was $360,000. And I looked around and I checked my wallet and my bank account and I did not have $360,000, nor did Andy, my partner. And combined, we didn't have $360,000. So we look very carefully at leasing and what the payment would be. There's no money out of pocket to start. We had a monthly payment and we compared that to our outsourcing of all the um, laser cut parts. And the machine never cost us a penny. We paid payments on it, but we made more profits by owning the machine than we did by not owning the system. So that $360,000 laser essentially to us was zero money zero money out of pocket of course we did make the payments but we made the payments and paid ourselves more than that so if you do it correctly the cnc can pay for itself pretty easily okay so the benefits are pretty staggering right so the question is can i do this and uh is it worth it you know, it, it looks promising. So we're going to take a, couple, a look at a couple of things on here. We're going to go, first of all, what hardware do you need? What, what CNC machine in particular do you need in order to produce cabinets? And this will depend upon you and what you're trying to do. Okay, so we have the 4x8, uh, Maverick 4x8, which is by far the most popular uh, CNC that we sell for, for cabinet shops, right? Um, it does 4x8, but you can, of course, take this side of the table off and have the turning center and the joinery center here in the vertical table. Um, so that, that one is, is uh, what most people think of. It's almost a no-brainer. Now, we just introduced a new system. It's the Maverick 5x10. And its advantage is, well, its, it's disadvantage is that it costs more money, obviously. But the, the advantages are is that you have a 4x8 table Plus, on the side, you have a turning center. So you do not have to tear down the 4 by 8 table in order to get access to the turning center. It's always there on the side. And if you extend the table over the turning center, you now have the 5 by 10. And uh, the 5 by 10 can do a couple of things. It, it does really well with specialty products and materials. When I was working with West Oak Studios, building the cabinetry in our shop that you guys have seen and, and watched how we, uh, how we uh, programmed that, then that material is comes in much bigger sheets it's not four by eight sheets so we can handle bigger sheets by extending this and going by the five by ten okay all right the last one that uh, you could look at is the four by four this again is brand new we're just introduced the four by four we're building our first ones right now um, and orders have been placed and we're going to start shipping uh, quickly so where this would fit in is more for the home shop or the small custom shop. So if you if you do it as a hobby or if you have a, a shop that occasionally you may want to do some cabinets, but that's not your main work, this could work extremely well. Um, we have customers that purchased machines specifically uh, for their personal use and decided to build cabinets. Uh, one comes to mind, Bill Capmule, who has a three by five. And he built all of his cabinets on a Maverick 3x5 and turned around is making cabinets now for others who see his work and want him to do it. He's retired, but he does it anyway because people are asking for it and he has the ability to do that. So 4x4 is a better format than the 3x5 because you can do a whole half a sheet, a whole half a sheet, if that makes any sense. You can do a half a sheet 
of a four by eight sheet on that machine, All right? All right, so those are the, the machines. And of course, the, the advantages are, again, here we're talking auto tool change. We're talking vacuum table. We're talking the uh, four by eight sheets for sheet processing. The ability to, to switch over to do embellishments like carvings on, on components or cut custom moldings, not as sheet goods, but as regular goods and uh, regular components. And we have the vertical here that can be used. A lot of people use it mostly for joinery, but it can be used for other things as well, but work on the ends or the edges of the parts. And cabinetry is the most obvious. And then you have the turning center in addition to that. So it's like buying three CNC's um, and I always like to joke with people, they're looking at a CNC, would you buy a third of a CNC? Does that make any sense? And I guess if you're only going to do one third the work or the type of work, then it does make sense. But in most cases for our customers who are looking to, to have a, you know, the ability to produce virtually anything, this system is designed for that. So once you've decided on a machine, you pick the one that you have or that you want to use, you're now going to have to go through software. And this is the most difficult for most people. It's the, the challenging part. Um, you can learn how to run the CNC in a matter of an hour. Okay. Now you can continue to learn more and more and more, but you can learn how to set up your offsets, set up your, your tooling, your smart tool, load the parts and load a program and, and go very, very quickly. There's a, there's a checklist on our website that says, just do this and this and you're ready to go. Okay, so and it's for sheet processing or it's for the vertical vice or it's for the turning center. You can run any program very, very quickly. Okay, that's the simple part. Software is the part that's challenging to most people. So we've, I've kind of broken it into two sections here. You've got CAD CAM software, and this is where you, you know, can design your sheet goods uh, and lay out all the holes and the dados and then cut it out the parts and do any of the carving or any of the things that, that you want to do. Right. And the ones that there, there's a plethora of software out there, CAD CAM software, and a lot of people have different ones than we uh, recommend here. But most of our customers, especially just starting off, not having any experience, uh, found that it's VCar Pro or Aspire are the two that probably 95% of our customers end up buying. Okay. You can look at other software like Enroute and Rhino and, and a bunch. There's a whole again a plethora of software out there but and we have tested several of those a lot of those and some of those are very very expensive but we have found that the interface for vcar pro and aspire first of all they're, they're identical but you learn one you learn the other one except for aspire can create a model where vcar pro can program a, a, to cut a model but it can't create the model you can import and, and program but these are by far the fastest and easy to learn and the value is phenomenal. So these are the two that we would recommend. And if you start with VCAR Pro, you can always upgrade to Aspire if you need to do it in, in phases, okay? Most people don't, they just go with Aspire, but that's totally up to you. And the third one I'm gonna throw in here is conversational cam. Now you're not gonna do your sheet processing in conversational cam. But if you start adding your embellishments between, you know, cutting things between centers, columns and corbels and and uh, pilasters and things like that, then conversational cam is going to excel for you. All right. The other type of software that you're going to look at is cabinet design software. Okay, and there are again a lot of options here. Some of them are very very expensive, over twenty thousand. Some of them are free but fairly limited. But if, if you're doing this as a hobby, that might be an answer for you. And you know, you're depending on your budget, but the ones that we're going to highly recommend and we have support for is SketchUp Pro, which is a 3D um, environment that you can program or model virtually anything. And then we're going to suggest that you add to that the extension called Cabinet Sense. That is the cabinet design software extension within SketchUp Pro that makes it very, very fast and easy. Okay. Now, next week in our next class, um, I've invited Michael Smarz to come back and he's actually not going to design a whole cabinet for you. We did that already. So if you want to watch that video, it's in our archives. He's not going to do that. But what he's going to do is, first of all, 
it's going to show the basic workflow, how you can use a simple library to pull a cabinet style on an upper or a lower or a corner or whatever it is. And you can very quickly make modifications if necessary and size it, change the number of doors, drawers and uh, adjustable shelves or whatever you want. And then you can export that as a DXF and we would go into either SketchUp Pro or Aspire. And that's going to be the cam that we're going to use because it works beautifully with, with CabinetSense. And that's where you're going to nest and you're going to uh, use your template to assign all the tool paths automatically. And then you're going to put that out to your machine. So this is by far our favorite. And one of the reasons it's our favorite is because we're, we've worked very closely with West Oak Studios and they offer Michael, it's they, it's he, he's a, he's a one man shop now. He offers an, an impressive and very valuable a package. Um, and he, I'm going to go through that, or he's going to go through it next week to kind of answer those kind of questions. Okay. But those are really the software packages that we would uh, recommend. Now, if you're just getting into it and you got the smallest machine, manual tool change, and you're just going to make a cabinet, you're trying to, you know, save your budget. A minimum software package would simply be VCAR Pro. Okay. That will allow you to design each part of the cabinet one at a time but it can be done so you can draw it all up and then program each panel the two side panels the top the bottom the back the shelves the uh, whatever and that will let you drill the holes cut the dados cut out the parts give you the give you the repeatability give you the accuracy give you all the things that cnc is going to do for you but you're going to have to learn how to program that and and design it it's going to take a lot a lot of work not much expense, but more work. All right. The uh, recommended software package that we're going to suggest will be Aspire. Now, it could be VCAR, VCAR Pro, don't take me wrong, but Aspire will give you the modeling and everything else if you want to do that in addition to the cabinetry. And then we're going to suggest SketchUp Pro and the Cabinet Sense extension. And CCAM Pro. Now we just launched CCAM Pro, and it's it's similar to CCAM. You're going to get CCAM with your system anyway, so you don't necessarily need to buy CCAM Pro. But if you want the ultimate package for doing everything, then CCAM Pro could be a part of that. And you'll have to decide whether that it is is or not as we go through demonstrations on CCAM Pro. We're teaching a class actually after this one at six o'clock on CCAM Pro. Um, these are very basic classes for people who are just getting started with it, but that's what we have to offer. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, CCAM training. CNC training, rather, not CCAM training. Okay, so you got the machine. How are you going to get trained? Well, there's a couple of ways. The first way is you can do a, a hands-on workshop here at Legacy. It's free. Now, if you've had your machine for a year and you decide that you want to come back in and take this class, a two day class, you're welcome. There's still no charge for it. OK, you just have to schedule with Chris to make sure that there's room in the class and when it's going to happen. You can't just walk in and it will take two days to <laughs> do one on one training, although we we can do one on one training in your shop if you want. But that's a separate item. And you can if you're curious about that, you can call get information. So we've got our hands on workshop that will teach you how to use the CNC. It's not going to go a lot into cabinetry. It's going to go into CNC. Okay. Then you have the, the online workshops like we're doing right now. Some of them will be on the CNC. Some will be on projects Some will be on programming. Some will be on tips and techniques. Some will be uh, customer spotlights and uh, things like that. But this is a resource that we have on a weekly basis where we're constantly working on CNC and software. And then online, we have the training videos, which include the workshops that we record and post as well. So you've got access to a lot of, of information on the CNC. And, and again, virtually, you can learn it virtually um, to run it in within, within an hour. Um, if I walk it through in the class, we could teach that easily in one shot in one class and you could be operating the system. If you watch the uh, training videos online, it'll, it'll walk you through that as well has an overview of the, 
the control software and, and it has the checklist and exactly how to set up and run each part. Okay, so that's how we handle the CNC training. Then you've got software training. Okay. And this can be the scary part. So Vetric has VCAR Pro and Aspire has their own video library. And they're quite extensive and quite good. And many of them are extremely advanced. Okay, so that's one very useful library, video library you can use. Legacy has a video library on the machines, on the software, on the programming, on the cutting, and everything else. And CabinetSense has a video library to learn how to use CabinetSense. Now, admittedly, their library is not as extensive as some of the others. Pretty basic and simple, but you can learn it from there. Um, it's not the easiest way, <laughs> okay, but it can be done. Okay, and then you've got <clears throat> the online workshops again, and that they'll go into the video library. And then you have the West Oak Studios training. And this is the one that we're going to recommend. We're going to recommend West Oaks for a couple of reasons. Number one, Michael has over 20 years of experience building cabinets, has used all the equipment, has bought several packages of cabinet software once he decided to go CNC. Uh, on one package, he spent $20,000. Okay. And he has had a large shop with a lot of employees and been able to scale it down to just himself because he can design these very simple and run it on the CNC and he's got the equipment to, to assemble it. Okay. So his experience is off the charts. He's also worked in uh, Southern California where there is a lot of money down there and people who have a lot of money want really nice things. And so he's been able to provide what they are asking for and even assist in their design and give them recommendations and suggestions and really help them out. He's quite gifted at that. Um, the other thing that West Oak Studios has to offer is it's it's a complete service that, and you can take parts or all. OK, and we're going to go over that next week in greater detail. But uh, let me just show you real quickly if we go to. West Oak Studios website. He does workshop events where you can go out there. He does CNC training demos. He does his own product line. Uh, well, he builds specialty product lines for uh, products for other people's, but he has a section on cabinet sense uh, right here. So if we click on cabinet sense, um, he's going to go through and tell you what he has to offer and what it can do for you. Okay. This is pretty good, but he has. If you go to cabinet sense directly and you get the trial version, you'll just get the trial version. Okay. But if you sign up here on this website with Mike, or you don't have to get, you don't have to do it with Mike, you can do it here from his website and get started here. You'll not only get the, the deal on the, the three months of training, but you'll or of the software, but you'll also get uh, training on the software. He can help you set it up. Uh, set up your library and teach you how to use it. Okay, which is pretty phenomenal. Now he also has different levels. He, the other thing he'll do is if you if you need, uh, you can have him train you as you design your first kitchen. So not only train how to use the software, but actually work with you. That's the second level and design that. And if you prefer, you don't want to learn the software, you're just going to have your kitchen cabinets made and you want to cut them on your CNC, Michael will design your kitchen cabinets or bathroom vanity or whatever it is completely. Um, and of course, that has a separate uh, price as well. But you can plug in at any level. But his support is phenomenal. His, his uh, training is unmatched. His, his caring and his concern and his uh, desire to help people succeed is, is like no other. Um, you get to know Michael Somerza and work with him, you will, you will love Michael Somerza. Um, anyway, that's what he has to offer, and we'll go over that in more detail uh, next week so that you can get through. So we're going to close this one. Catch you next week. Good night, everyone.